Well, I just I want to you know, dress with respect to the to the media that's in this room. You know, I actually have to broadcast later today, so I, I didn't want to change twice. A well-dressed Carl Edwards joins us here in the media center at uh, Talladega, and, and uh, he had the fastest time in practice number one yesterday. So he'll start out front. He drives a number 99 fast and L Ford for Roush Fenway. Carl, uh, you know, everybody was kind of counting on maybe today having some weather issues, so you guys went out there and really laid down some fast practice laps. And just talk about your outlook for tomorrow's race. Yeah, I, I, well, first of all, I, do we get the pole award? Am I in the bud shootout? Well, or the Sprint Unlimited? Carl, Sorry about that. Sprint let me Unlimited. tell you this. <laughs> Well, let's get, talk about this now because I've got you'll some. Get, you'll get to get your photos taken <laughs> with the fine people from Polk's Meat Products who are the qualifying sponsor. Thank you for sponsoring that, Polk's. However, you must still capture a pole. Come on. To All right. get in the sprint All right, let me give my version of events here. That's true. That's right. Is That's that right. Uh, two things. We qualified second at Kansas. Matt had the pole. But then he didn't get the poll, so it didn't count for him. So I, I texted Mike Elton and said, hey, you know, what do you think? We get the poll award? And he said, LOL. <laughs> and I thought, well, I, I didn't think it was that funny. And then, and then this. I mean, we get the Polk's Meat product the, picture. The, the, I don't the, get to, the season is young. Carl, it is. So. It is. Well, anyway, I'm talk, lobbying talk for the Talk about tomorrow's race. Well, and the other thing is we did, that was, well, first of all, it, qualifying, it was it was actually pretty exciting for all the teams because we we looked at this forecast and we were all concerned that there wasn't there wasn't going to be single car qualifying. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was a it was like a heat race out there. I mean, everyone was doing everything they could to to lag back and partner up and get the fastest lap times they could, and and it was it was pretty exciting. We got the fastest lap with about one minute to go, and uh, and it was really exciting. So that was our our whole mission yesterday, and and uh, I'm pretty proud of the fact that we ended up with the fastest time. Now the race, from that practice, I learned that these cars, I mean, it, we were four wide in practice once. That's what my spotter told me, four wide. Uh, it, the cars seemed to, uh, seemed to do a, a really good job of pulling up and actually passing other cars here. Our car was very fast. I don't know if it's just a, that our car is real fast or if, or if everyone's like that, but it looks like it's going to be a... Does that provide you an opportunity to learn things as well? Yes, um, I, I I feel that our performance at Richmond there was there was a small part of that was due to to my time in the booth the night before I got I got to see and each time I do the the broadcasts I get to see um, a difference I get to see the sport from a little bit different perspective. Number one, I'm forced to really pay attention, which you know if I watch it on television or or even if I was driving the car I don't you you're not forced to pay attention to everyone's strategies and everyone's. Um, mistakes but being in the booth i feel like i i i watched uh, the way people um gained advantages and the mistakes they made and the things that uh, they did wrong and and did right and that's i thought that helped me specifically at richmond i'm really looking forward to to this race i hope that i get to broadcast it today because i i feel that more than any of the races these these restrictor plate race tracks you always wish that you could go back and run them again. You always wish that you could start over because it, it's such an easy track to make a mistake on. I think broadcasting the race, I'll watch the guys in the Nationwide Series, and, and it'll be very um, front of mind tomorrow when I'm racing any, anything that I need to focus on. So it's been really good, and I'm telling you, if uh, I'll do anything I can to get that fast and all fusion to victory lane, anything I can learn, anything I can you know, glean from these guys, that, that'll be great.